It's supposed to be much harder to get a driver's license. States like Virginia made changes after the September 11th attacks. Several of the terrorist hijackers obtained driver's licenses in Virginia. But two Richmond men are making a mockery of Richmond's main DMV office. They received six licenses while wearing obnoxious and over-the-top disguises. CBS 6 reporter Tim Trudell has the story all new at 11. For $10, anyone with a valid Virginia driver's license can go get their picture retaken. A couple of Richmond filmmakers did just that over and over. They wore disguises, spray paint, and fake teeth. Their new pictures were probably way worse than any of us has ever had. Funny in the video, but not so funny to the DMV. Asked to see their driver's license. From our heads, that's where we get all of our ideas. And there's quite a story from inside their wallets. This is kung fu fighting. The 27-year-old Richmond filmmakers cheaply transform themselves over and over. Paint and fake teeth. This frightening pose, a dirty hippie. I'm not going to be able to get away with this. <laughs> An awful haircut with more pain and some painfully crossed eyes. Their friend sprayed in this massive unibrow. And then there's this, which, uh, well, uh... They were kind of confused at first, right? So I told them I was in a children's play. Each time, the DMV reissued them a legitimate license. It's part of their movie, which has drawn considerable attention on the Internet and was on the front page of the paper, in the box in front of the building. It's not a joke, it's not a prank. Where no one is laughing. These individuals abuse the system, and, and DMV takes that very seriously. Spokesman Bill Foy explains. In this case, uh, we believe that our customer service representatives handled it appropriately. Uh, they, they walk a fine line in each and every day. Foy gives us this example. If a teenager comes in with severe acne, is that a disguise or is that the way they really look? And if so, is it appropriate for us to say, why don't you come back when, when that clears up? The DMV says these were reissues, not original applications. They had produced two forms of identification and legal presence in the United States of America. When asked if they should have been able to get them in the first place. Hell yes. No. 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 I don't think they should have. No. <laughs> uh -uh. All right. Well, the DMV says since the licenses don't accurately portray them, both Stewart and Carsola have 15 days to surrender the ones they have or risk losing their licenses altogether. The DMV will review its policies, and they may or may not make changes to them. Tim Trudell, CBS 6 News. All right. Thanks a lot, Tim.